should ask yeah. uh, tell the us last the metrics guy. of your last guy. last guy. You know what I'm saying? That's what we should have done. Okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ladies. Now it's oh. your turn. Yeah, you guys can draw us a question about dating. And we lifestyle. are not gonna cap, unlike you guys. We keep it very real. <laughs> so anything you want to know about dating, uh oh wait, a poll on Twitch says, Is marriage more of a business or love? It said ninety percent business, ten percent said love. Damn. Yeah, it's a business for the women. There you go. You know what I'm saying? The guys get into it for love. The women get for in it, in it for it's business. It's a one-sided partnership because yeah, uh, you leave and they take your money. <laughs> and and if you guys disagree with me, the reason, like, if you take a girl, 99% of the time when a woman gets married, she always marries a guy that makes more money than her. Very rarely do women marry a guy that earns less than them. And if they do, that guy has potential to make, maybe he's in med school or something like that, and he's going to make the money. But very rarely do women actually, like, get a ring and marry a man that earns less than them. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah, I disagree as well. I don't think my, that's deliberate. Yeah, sorry, you were gonna. Okay, say. so okay, why do you disagree? Go ahead. <laughs> um, my sister, and her husband. My sister makes um like a fair amount more income than her husband. Has did when they, when they married? Did she make that income? Yeah. That's real here though. Yeah. They're in Canada. Yes. That okay. that makes sense. The guys over there. This was like, yeah, <laughs> but no, no, no. Here, here's the thing. Okay, so so uh, how much more does she make than him? Um, I couldn't tell you like specific numbers, but I know my sister makes like a good income and like Are we okay, talking, so like, like double his income. Third of his income, more. Um, I should. I don't. I couldn't tell you. God, so you're gonna okay. make a. You're gonna make a statement and not be able to back it up. Like okay. for instance, last year, mm -hmm. um, before the pandemic, uh, they moved to Germany together, and yep. her husband quit her job, and my sister just like worked and like took care of both of them. Okay, so he quit his job and she worked. Yes. Okay, and and do they have kids? No. Okay. Um. Okay, and and when they married, he she was earning more than him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is what you call an exception, exception to the rule, to the rule yeah. <laughs> because it's not, it's not most average. women would not do that. Yeah, they would not marry a man that earns less than them and take it serious. How long have they been married? Um, they have been dating since they were fifteen. They're thirty-four years old now. Well, how long married, have they been married? Uh, I'm gonna say like five years. Okay. Okay. So the average marriage lasts about seven years. And I'll tell you this: when a woman earns more money than her husband, it actually we talked about this on Timcast, thirty-three percent increased chance, likelihood of divorce. So, yeah. Who, I'm not saying they're going to get divorced, but the probability has went up dramatically when a woman earns more than her counterpart. So because she I'm thinks, not wishing anything bad on your sister and her and her husband, but what I am saying is that he ain't that nice. Yeah, because, because <laughs> think about it, she, she takes the masculine role. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she has a pants in her in her you know that yeah. situation. So even though you, there might be this one situation, most yeah. women would not dare marry a man that let, makes less than them. They would not do that unless like it was like let's say she makes 500, he makes 450. That's it's not a big difference because it's there's not much of a lifestyle change difference yeah. there. But like when we're talking like she makes 100 or 150 and he makes like 50, eh, that's going to be that's probably gonna be a problem for most women. And, and the stats show it too. women on average want a man that makes about 52 percent more than they do. So if we're to use the numbers, but and then someone else disagreed. Do you disagree, too? Yeah, I mean, I disagree. No, I do. Disagree. I feel like the man at least has to meet where I am. I feel like as he a bare minimum. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have to make more money than me. OK, but. Still, yeah. there's there's a financial standard and perform a burden of performance yeah, of for the course. man. Like, I don't want to be with somebody who's like down here and I'm up here. Like, but I that's want the, that's the difference, though. Men don't have that floor. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, women are very intelligent about who they marry, whereas like men aren't. Like, a man will marry a woman that earns 20k per year and not think twice. Whereas yeah. a woman ain't gonna marry no dude that makes 20k per year. She unless she makes 20k herself, she's like, all right, we're equal. I'll marry you. Right. But that's what we're trying to say. Like, women exercise far more financial discretion. So that's what I'm saying. For women, it's a business almost. Like they look at it much more pragmatically than men do. Men are like, "Oh, I love you, baby," and they get married, and then they get divorced later on. Like I can go to McDonald's, find a hot chick. You know what? You seem you seem very chill, feminine. I'll marry you. But if you go to McDonald's, you're not gonna marry the guy behind the counter. It's like no. So, I mean, I'm not gonna be with somebody that I have to financially support. Like you have to work too. I have to work too. Yeah. And Which is why we said yeah. that women look at marriage as a business more than men do. Men I don't look, look at, at it as a as business love. because at the end of the day, I have to love you and I have to care about you a lot mm -hmm. for me to be with you. I just feel like, you know, if I want to travel the world and I want to go here tomorrow, you better be able to go here tomorrow with me, too. Like, I'm not going to be supporting you like you're my baby at the end of the day. And uh, shout out to the merch, by the way. But, I feel but like, men and women love very differently. But I feel like we talk. Yeah, I feel like shirts are there. We, we always talk about how men and women love differently. I don't know if you like, I guess example, that's an opinion. When, I would argue it's a fact because women tend to love opportunistically, whereas men love idealistically. Think about it. Like no. you said earlier, men see how you look and they fall for your looks just off rip. And you as Girl, a woman. As a woman. Girls, however, they see, okay, what does he have to offer? Is he successful? Is he ambitious? Is he going somewhere in life? Okay, I can be a part of his lifestyle and kind of like, you know, acqu acquiesce to that itself. The but reality I mean, is this. Women love men for what they provide. Men love women for who they are. 
No. So you would say that every woman that gets, like, the majority of women that get married, they're not getting married because they're in love? I mean, I would say that's not true. But th they're in love with the man for what he provides is what no, I'm trying to say. you're in love with the man for the person. You don't get married to someone. You don't say yes to a proposal because if you don't love someone, the majority of the time, it's like you're in love with them. But, that's, but the thing but, is, but, yeah, well, hold on, hold on. This all stems yeah. from what I'm saying. Women love opportunistically. You're missing the point. I'm saying women love opp for a woman to love you. She's got to respect you for her to respect you. You have you have to become to some degree. And that becoming is her falling in love with what you provide. But my thing is, right, if they're marrying out of love, why are they divorcing so much? They're the ones like starting to divorce, like always, for the most part. Women are the ones always starting the divorce. Yeah, they have a higher percentage of, 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 of like initiating. Eighty percent of divorces. Why, why do you, why do you hold think? on, hold on. Let's tell them the numbers. Yeah, instead of making a claim, eighty percent of divorces are initiated by women. Okay, and you don't know why that is. I mean, maybe it was due to be the man being unfaithful, due to monetary reasons. Due it's to, monetary mostly. Yeah. Due to kids, due to so many other factors. You know, jobs. We we know it's, it's, it's monetary. monetary. But if it was out of love, money wouldn't even be an issue. People fall out of love all the time. But that's what I hold on. That's, that's the point. That, though. That's the, okay. So I'm I'm gonna break this down for you. Women love opportunistically. Therefore, since women love opportunistically, and that's not to shit on you guys. Like that's just we tell guys on this it's podcast. Normal. Like this is how you have to operate. Women love differently than we do. Men love a woman for what she is. We don't care what you provide or whatever. If you have a job or a career, that's cool. But men don't necessarily care about that. Women, however, love very differently. That's why ambition, income, drive, all these things matter to women because they're very strong predicators on that man's future success. So therefore, the woman falls in love with the man because of what he provides, his ambition, his security, all this other stuff. So once you lose that, the attraction goes down. This is why a lot of divorces are initiated by women because the man might lose frame, he might lose his money, whatever it is. So stop going to the gym. Yeah, stop going to whatever it is. But yeah. like the woman loves the man for what he provides. Like men are only loved in society based on what they provide. This is why men since the beginning of time have created. You There's know an article saying? right here. So why women uh, fell eighty percent of divorces. Um, I just feel like yeah, that's a factor, of course, but I don't think that's the whole realm of like why women get married or why right women here, get divorced. Awkward. Um. And I would say that men sexual like equally suck over sexualized. Who they pause. are. He said pause. Uh, yeah, yep. This is like a. Uh, oh, it's like an internet connection. Um, no. Just refresh the page and that'll fix it probably. Yep.